One of the ways of doing report in Excel is by using pivot table to quickly analyze and aggregate our data. But instead of using pivot table, we now have a new function in Excel that can do that. And that function is what is referred to as the group by function. So we can use the group by function to summarize and analyze our data in Excel. For instance, we would like to see the total salary paid across, across the different departments and across the different work type. So how do we do that with the group by function? So let me see, let's take a look at how we can use the group by function to answer that question. So we say equals to group by and see it helps, the group by function helps us to aggregate values by row fields. Now, group by function has seven different arguments, three of which are very important, while the remaining four are optional. Now, the first important argument is the row field. Row field simply means the category that you want to do your report by. So, in this case, I would like to do my report by department and work type. So, I can so I need to select category at the department and also the the work type you can pick the two at the same time then comma now the second argument is the values value simply means the field that you want to aggregate so in this case i would like to aggregate my salary field then comma and the third function is the function function is talking about what kind of aggregation you would like to do so you can decide to sum you can decide to count to find the average the minimum maximum or you can even decide to look for the percentage of the total salary so any of them will do so for now let's use a sum let's do our sum application now these are the first three important arguments in of the group by functions so we can decide to close our bracket now because others are optional so close the bracket and hit on enter. Now we can see our results. So we now have the department, the work type, and also the salary. If I can also decide I don't want to do some, you can look for the average. Check the average. Enter. Now we have the average salary. Yes. Yes. Or you would like to see the to the percentage of the total salary that each of the departments is dropping. So you see, part percentage, percent of, yes, we close the bracket and hit enter. Now you can see this. So this is how you can use the group by function to summarize your data now aside the these four three arguments you can also what you leverage on the optional argument as well so let's see what the optional arguments are so the first optional argument is the field headers so field headers is talking about the heading so do you want heading for it by default it is no so that's why it is not giving us anything but i can decide to choose yes but don't show no but generate then yes and show so let me put the yes and show. Close the bracket and you hit enter. Now we have headings for the category for our report. Now, okay, to so the next argument, so I'll put a comma, which is the total depth. So total depth is talking about what total, what, de what depth of total do you want to use? You want the grand total or you want the subtotal or you want to grand at the subtotal? So, and also the position where you want the grand total to be. So by default, that is also what by default is there will be no total. So you can start to pick grand total or the grand and sub total. This will be at the bottom. Or you can or if you want it to be at the top, you have the grand total at the top or grand and sub total at the top. Anywhere you want it, you can pick anyone. So let me pick um the grand and the one will be at the bottom and close the bracket and hit enter. Now we have our grand total and also the subtotal for each department so executive management this is it for facility 
this is it now in fact let me change this abbreviation to sum save percentage sum then we have it this way so aside the total debt we also have the sort order so you can decide that you want to sort your reports either in ascending or descending order and you can use you can decide which column you want to use to sort these reports you can sort by the department or by the work type or by the salary so if you are summing by the department the department here is the first column so that means you are using one to sort it if it is by the work type it has to be two and if it is by the salary it has to be three any of the options so let's first for use it um, the department so pick one close the bracket and enter so once you do one then simply means what you are saying sort this thing for me in ascending order but if i wanted to sort it by department in the des in descending order i would change my one to negative one then enter now i have it in descending order sales and marketing research manufacturing legal it hr finance and others like that so it is sorting the the the, the output by the department or if i want to sort it by the salary i will see minus three that's in descending order of salary to three help us to sort it that way so that's on the sort order and finally which is the filter array so i can also decide that i want to filter these reports for instance i would like to see the reports i would like to see salary across the finance department alone i'm not interested in all other departments then i'm going to say department so filter array is going to be i want to filter by department i'll pick the department and say where the department is equals to finance close the quotes close the back and then enter so it's going to give me only finance right same thing if i don't want to see what i want to do it by lega so i'll change the finance to lega i have legal area. what if i only want to see all the department except lega then i can say what when the department is not equals to Liga. then you see all the department or what legal will be excluded from the list so this is how you can use the group by function to quickly analyze and summarize your data thank you very much